Hello, Tab Nation! Today we're going to be doing a basically a context menu video. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, this one basically just uh, updates live, basically. I'll show you a little bit more what I mean by that. So here's our code, but first uh, let me show you what I'm working with here. So I'm just using my desktop, obviously. It's going to depend where you want to do this app. I can see this being very helpful for like Steam and just having like a folder with all your shortcuts. Uh, to launch it without having to actually launch Steam. In my opinion, that would be where I would use it. Um, but I just made a test file on my desktop. It's called My Files. Let's open it. There we go. And I just created some videos, uh, files in here, and then some basic text files. Uh, you know, just named them one, two, three, four, just text files. Nothing fancy. And if you click on three, just got displays some threes. Uh, and then two videos. So, Let's uh, take a look at the code here real quick, and then we'll show a few different scenarios on what we're going to be doing. Our hotkey is going to be F1. Obviously, um, use whatever you want. You just change it here from F1 to, you know, whatever. Uh, if you want to see how to convert this to version 2, I do have a video I'll link in the description below using a V1 to V2 converter. That's a video you should definitely check out. It's very helpful. It's really cool and uh, works pretty well. Um, but yeah, basically we're going to be uh, right here is where you're really going to need to do the editing here and changing your path. So as you see, I have it pointing towards my desktop into that folder I just showed you, which is just called my files uh, slash. And that's basically just saying anything in there. We want our context menu to display when we press F1. Uh, then we're going to do uh, a variable to a variable. And this is just so that we can reference when it's done. Basically, uh, we're going to be looping. Uh, so we're going to loop files. <clears throat> This is the file path up here, so that's fine. As long as you change it up here, it will reflect down here. Uh, and there's two things here you can do. So right here, we're doing slash, and then these little asterisks, uh, which is on your keyboard, is above the 8 uh, key. This is basically a wild card. Um, so it's saying the file can have, you know, be named whatever we want, dot, and whatever type of file extension it can be an executable text file image whatever now the dfr you don't have to put this here um but this is kind of a quick breakdown that i copied and pasted uh, from the documentation onto here kind of showing what it means uh you know if you put the d there as you see right there uh, if i can highlight it there we go um include directories uh aka folders <clears throat> if you put the f there also uh, this is going to include files if both F and D are omitted, not there, uh, files are included, but not the folders. So it's only going to look what's in there. It's not going to kind of look at like the subfolders or the folders or anything like that. R uh, stands for recurse um, into the subdirectories, subfolders. Um, so basically all subfolders will be uh, recursed into and not just those named match file pattern, blah, blah, blah. You can read this a little better uh, if you want to pause the video right now. Let me duck so I'm not covering it all. Yeah, just pause the video right now if you want to read this, understand a little bit, uh, check out the documentation. Uh, but like I said, you don't have to have all these. It just depends on your use case scenario. So yeah, so pretty simple right here is our first uh, loop, right, or our only loop, actually. Uh, we're going to loop. We're going to loop the files from there. We're doing a wild card, so it's basically saying, get everything. And then, you know, we're putting all the options here, too, just so we can see it. Uh, then we need to create our menu. Just in case you don't know what a context menu is, if you right click, this is a context menu. This is kind of the default one for this program, but we're creating our own. And this is just going through, it's, you know, getting the, this is a built in variable, a underscore loop file directory, um, and then the loop file name. So we're getting the file name, we're getting the path uh, name, all that. Um, and then when we click on that certain menu item, it's gonna to jump to the action uh, function which we can see down here. And all that's going to do is run. And it's going to grab that same information, you know, which menu item, what did you click on, you know, which in one, two, three, that kind of thing. And A, this menu. So it's getting the uh, file path uh, based on where you clicked. And it's just going to run, you know, whatever it is. So for us, it's just text files and videos. So it just auto launch those uh, through the appropriate program that you have assigned with Windows. Um, now, after the loop, once it's done, it realizes that's what it's doing here is um, it's basically seeing if there's anything more to loop for. Um, once it does, it's going to end the loop. 
Um, and then it's just going to do right here, menu, top menu, show. It's basically just going to show us our actual menu. So it's grabbing all the information here that we need, and then it's going to display it here. Down here is, yeah, where it's going to be running it. This is um, add the menu. This is where it's splitting the menu up. So, you know, you have, you know, row one, two, three, four with the appropriate data. So that's what that's doing. A lot of this you're not really going to need to adjust. Really, the biggest thing you need to adjust is the file path here of where you're going. And then right here with, uh, you know, wild cards, which will change here in a second. So let's go ahead and set this action. Uh, which script is this? Number three. All right, so we're running that. Let's minimize that. Let's open this folder. So as you see, one through four, intro, outro. I'm going to go ahead and push F1. And there we go. So it's displaying all the stuff here. So if I click on three dot text, there we go. It just automatically ran that, uh, you know, program uh, that's appropriate for this, which is just notepad on my computer. And so I'd open that. We can push F1 again, do one, so on, so forth. Now, let's get a little bit more targeted at what we want specifically. Um, so, for example, let's say I have this folder right here. As you can see, I'm going to drop it and drag it in there. Okay, I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Probably because I'm running OBS for recording. It's lagging my computer a bit. Or something. Well, while it's doing that, don't forget to subscribe. I'm throwing out a video, one, two, every single week. Usually doing with automation. Almost always doing with auto hotkeys. But I do expand outwards. And I'm not sure what's going on here. That is weird. Great. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. That was weird. Um, so now I have this folder in here. And in it is just another full, uh, text file that's called G. So we're going to go ahead and press F1. I'm not relaunching my script. I'm not reloading it. Nothing like that. It's still there. But as you see, it live updates. And that's why this is so great. It's because anytime things change, we're not having to update our code. We're not having to update, you know, whatever. It just works. So as you can see, it has the folder name, which is lower. And then the dot, or the GGG, GGD dot text. Launch that. Boom. There we go. So it's cool because it live updates. Now, let's say I only want to see the text files. I don't want to see these videos in my menu. Even though they're in here, I don't want to see those. That's where the wildcard comes into play. So we'll keep this one here because we don't care what the file is called. We only want to see TXT though. So we're going to do that. We're going to save. Now, when you make this change, you do need to relaunch it. You could always add some type of uh, drop-down menu if you want to have it live update without relaunching from the code. That's fine, too. F1. And as you see now, uh, all we're seeing is these text files. Even in the, the subfolders, we're not seeing those videos anymore that are in there. Um, so that's what's really cool about this is you can do a wild card or you can specifically say, you know, I only want to see text files. Like I was saying with Steam, I think that's where you would use, uh, I would use it at least personally. Um, it would be kind of cool, you know, just here to put .exe. That way any shortcuts I have in there would auto launch. Uh, I don't have to open Steam. I can access that menu from anywhere. I could be like, oh, here, I want to play this game. Boom, click this one, Minecraft launches. Obviously, I don't have that set up, but you get the idea. <laughs> All right, if you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you would use this for and how you would tweak it to meet your needs uh, and give other people ideas, even me. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye.